102.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. You know, there's an art to dating. When you go out with somebody and you enjoy your time together, you kind of hang back after the date. Don't text right away because you don't want to seem over eager. No, I hate that rule. <laughs> well, it's a rule that people abide by. And Jason, who's on the phone to do a second date update today, is hardcore at that rule because he hasn't talked to the girl he wants to call in two months. What? Whoa. Yep. He's doing the two-month slow play, which I uh. think is a little too long. But Jason, I don't know, man. I don't know exactly what your goal is here. But you want to call her now for a second date update. Why wait two months? Well, okay. So I think I'm in a little bit of a unique situation here. See, I went out with this girl, Kathy, two months ago. And we went to a dinner. And it was, it was you know... It was okay. <laughs> oh, great. So now you're just rating it as okay. I waited two months. It was okay. Figured I couldn't find anything better, so now I'm going to call Kathy back. Is that the plan? Well, no, no I... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like that's the plan, Jason. Is that the plan? Is that is that horrible? Yes. I just think that maybe after, you know, all this time, I came to a realization that this was actually what a date maybe is more supposed to look like. What? <laughs> What does that mean, Jason? Because if I didn't call somebody back for two months and then I was like, all right, look, I got to get a hold of them. Even though it's been a long time, I really liked them. I wouldn't Uh, describe them the way you just described the girl that you want to call. What's her name? It's Kathy. Kathy. I wouldn't describe them the way that you described Kathy and be like, yeah, it was, you know, it's good. Well, let me me tell you about our, our date. So we go to dinner and things are going okay. You know, there were no like awkward surprises in the first 10 minutes. And I'm trying to facilitate conversation and, like, you know, talk about ourselves. And and every single step of the way, the conversation just dies, you know? And it's, it's not like it's the worst date in the world, but it's like that there are these long stretches of silence where, like, you just want to squirm in your seat and you don't know what you're supposed to do. It sounds like a fabulous date. No wonder you want to call her back. Well... See, that's sort of what I thought. I thought things were not going well because about 30 minutes in, she she starts checking her phone. So it doesn't sound like Kathy wants to date you either. So, <laughs> See, okay. that's what I believed. And then the next morning, she texts me and says, hey, thanks so much for last night. It really meant a lot to me. Hey, that's okay, good. So Is it you're good? out with her. There's a lot of lulls in the conversation. She's checking her phone 30 minutes in, and you find out that she and- actually had a great time. <laughs> So, I, I mean, I get that text, and I, I, I sort of look at it for a few minutes, and then I think, like, no way. There's no way I'm going out on another day with this girl. Like, it was bad. Yeah. It was a bad okay. date. It was so weird. Yeah, and you're like, if that's your definition of fun, we have two different definitions of fun, exactly. obviously. Exactly. So what made you change your mind? So it's been two months, and I've been on dates since then, trying to sort of figure out what is actually good for me. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And every single date has been so much worse than that date. So much worse. (laughs) So you want to call her after two months, not because she was so fantastic, she just wasn't a psychopath. Well, she wasn't a psychopath, and, like, I didn't have a bad time. I had an... It wasn't great, (laughs) but, like... You know, maybe, maybe they say that, like, you know, marriage is it's like a partnership, sort of like the boring married couple, right? Well, like, you know, maybe this is that right off the bat, and I can know what to expect all the way down the line. <laughs> you know, comfort. Normally, I would be really against this, but I feel like online dating has given people too many choices that you don't ever know what was good. Like, if it was pre online dating, maybe you would have given her a second chance, and the second time it would have been fantastic. And this date wasn't. It wasn't a bad date. You know, I enjoyed my meal and the company was okay. (laughs) This is so awkward. It's amazing. You know, I'm starting to think that okay is is what I need, you know. (laughs) And, you know, I listen to your show, Two Second Date Update, and I've heard some of the people that are on here before, and I know how bad things can be. And I, you know... This isn't that, you know. Mm. I think it, I think this is this is way better than that. Um, yeah, just a little lag in conversation when you guys went out and she didn't like mess her pants and throw up on you. Honestly, it could be so much worse for me. So much worse. I love that our show is like taking a low bar and lowering it even further. Yes, the help. Well, it lets you know. It lets you know how bad things can get. Oh. 
<laughs> that should be our new show slogan. Yeah, Brooke and Jubal be in the better. morning lets you know how bad things can get. I like it. But honestly, Jason, she's probably not going to be super excited that you haven't called her for two months. Yeah, I, I realize that may be a problem. I did text her um, like a day ago and said, like, you know, long time no talk, stranger. Mm. Like, just trying to, like, ignite, like, a conversation and... I have not gotten a response, which I don't blame her for. But, you know, I really do want to, like, reach out and at least try to get a second date. Okay. All right. Well, we'll play a song, come back, and then call Kathy and see if she's willing to go out with you again since she's not the worst option. All right. Thanks, guys. (laughs) Yeah, no problem. We'll get your second date update right after this. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, Second Date Update. If you're just tuning in for today's Second Date Update, we have Goldilocks on the phone. Goldilocks, Goldilocks goes by the name of Jason. Huh. He's been in the dating world, and most of his dates have either been too hot or too cold. And he wants us to call Kathy for him right now. And Kathy is, well, she's not even just right. She's just okay. <laughs> And that's why he likes her. He actually went out on a date with her two months ago and hasn't talked to her since. But now he wants to call her to get another date because, according to him, all of his other dates have been so bad that he's thought about it. And he's like, eh, this one was actually probably the most decent date I've had in two months. So why not give it a shot and see if she'll go out with me? Jason, I feel like you should tell her or we should tell her that you want to give it another shot because, hey, the first one wasn't so great. But first dates are hard and maybe the second date would be better. Yes, I think that's part of, of, of what I'm, I'm hoping. Okay, that's the message you're trying to get out, not like, well, she was good enough. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I think I'm a little worried that it's going to come across as, because, you know, I haven't texted her in two months. So yeah. the fear is that, you know, she'll think what I what I said. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. The fear is that she'll understand the truth. <laughs> but I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call out how bad the date was. I mean, it was on your end. You said it was boring, but she texted you the day after, right? Yeah, so I think I think I'll say something like, "I wasn't ready at the time." I liked you too much, and I didn't know it, how to deal <laughs> with it, so I went away for two months. Now we're just lying. Yeah, yeah, it might work. No. All right, I'm gonna dial her phone number right now, Jason. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Hello. Hi. Can I speak to Kathy, please? And this is she. Hey, what's up, Kathy? How are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. From what? Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a radio show. A radio show? What? Yeah. Yeah, like the kind that you hear when you're listening to the radio and then there are people doing a show on there. Good description. We do one of those. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. And I'm calling you today because we actually got an email from one of our listeners about you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know this is weird, but we do a segment on our show called the Second Date Update. That's where if you go out on a date with somebody and then end up not calling them back after, they email us to see if we can get you on the phone and find out what went wrong. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Your situation is a little different, though, because the guy that wanted us to call you actually kind of blew you off, but he's regretting it now. His name is Jason. Jason, like a few months ago, Jason? Yep, I think we're talking about the same Jason. Yeah. He's uh, he's calling to get in touch with me now? Yeah. yeah. He emailed us and said that he really enjoyed your date, and he doesn't really know why he took so long to get back to you, but he tried to text you the other day, and now you haven't texted him back, so he thought he'd enlist our help to see if we could get you on the phone and find out if you would like to see Jason again or if you enjoyed your time with him. Huh. That's actually pretty funny. Um, <laughs> that was actually a... a pretty big night for me uh weirdly enough the date you had with jason was a big night yeah kind of it's just weird that he's asking now i mean like why wait like two months that's okay what was that's what we said what what was so big about that night for you um well honestly uh that night i kind of came to the conclusion that i was more interested in women than men Whoa, what? Oh, <laughs> like you came out of the closet that night? Well, I mean, that came like, you know, like a week or so later. But like I that <laughs> night, I realized, you know, what it was that I actually wanted. 
Whoa. Good for you. Wow. Way to find and your truth. <laughs> how did that hit you all of a sudden while you're out with Jason? I just kind of felt like the whole time on our date, I was just kind of bored. Like, I felt like I was really grasping at things to talk about, and they just, you know, nothing was really landing. And over the course of the evening, I just kind of felt like I was more interested in, like, looking at our waitress than mm-hmm. I was at Jason. <laughs> at this, so, was I mean, this something you were thinking about, like, prior, or it was literally everything happened that night? I think I had some a little bit of confusion, but I just have been dating men my whole life, and, and I just, you know, I felt like this was what I was supposed to be doing, and then it was just that night I was just like, what am I doing? Clearly, I'm continually to date guys that I'm not interested in. Why am I not interested in them? Maybe because I'm not interested in men in general. Good on you, Kathy. (laughs) But I'm confused, though, because you said that you texted him the next morning, like, praising your night with him. Well, I honestly just wanted to thank him. Like, I really woke up that next morning just feeling like a whole new person. And I wanted to thank him because I feel like that was the turning point for my life. Like, I feel like I know who I am now. Oh, that is, that's yeah. amazing. He you. read your text completely wrong. He yeah. thought you were texting him saying how much fun you had on the date, yeah. not that your date was so boring it made you switch teams. <laughs> oh, my God. He thought that I meant, like, that I had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I meant, like, thank you for helping me figure out my life. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> thank you for helping reveal my truth. Not yeah. <laughs> for all the laughs. I'm sure. I'm sure he'd be shocked to know that that's what that text meant. And you might be shocked to know that he's on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. Oh, no. <laughs> Jason? Yeah, shocked is oh. a good man. Jason, I'm sorry. I just, I can't believe this. You're telling me that, that I, like, because you went on a date with me, you realized that, you know, I mean, it's not not there's anything judged. wrong with you. Well, there is. There's a big thing wrong. Well, there's a thing wrong with Jason. You've been with guys before, though. I don't understand why, you know, why it was your night with me that changed everything. Like, what, what was I doing so wrong? No, you didn't do anything wrong. I think it was just the culmination of a lot of dating of men and realizing that I wasn't enjoying myself. And I guess you were just the last date that I didn't enjoy that I kind of went, well, maybe it's because I'm not interested in men. Yeah, but, but then why would you text me the next morning? Like, that is only something that you would do if you were in, interested in me. If I recall, I texted you that, you know, just thanking you for a great night. I didn't ask to see you again. I mean, you didn't text me back, so I figured, oh, great, we're on yeah, the same page. Yeah. <laughs> you, that was still, I mean, that was still kind of a, a lie then, right? You didn't have a great night with me. What? Yeah, Jason, well, are you actually butthurt <laughs> about this? Yeah, of course I am. Like, I was not the reason that it was a boring date. I don't buy that as the reason she texted me that in the morning. I think she's, you know, I think you're trying to get back at me, if I'm honest. Like, what? I think, Whoa, you think, really? <laughs> Jason, are you accusing Kathy of lying? Yeah, I mean, I don't believe that that was the night she decided that she was, you know, playing for the other team. I don't believe it. So, Jason, you're saying that you are just God's gift to women and there's absolutely no way that I could not be interested in you. No, Is Kathy, that that's what not, I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I think that maybe you're upset that I didn't text you back and so now you're trying to embarrass me on the radio and that's pathetic. Oh. <laughs> what? How are you turning her moment of truth into something that's about you, dude? I just think it's, it's a pretty good story you know what i mean like she was on her phone the whole night and you're telling me that was the turning point of her life no way Texting my best friend because we had been having this conversation about you know am i interested in women i don't know i don't know how i feel and i had you know just such an epiphany on our date that yeah i texted her and oh. it was still appropriate to share with you Obviously. I think it would have been that amazing if you shared it with him. Like, hey, by the way, half an hour into this date with you, I just figured out that I am a lesbian. All right, let's finish up. You want dessert? Dessert. I mean, maybe he could have been my wingman for the waitress. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. See? <laughs> Jason, right, well, I mean, you guys could still be friends. You did help her in a big moment of her life. It was very pivotal. Yeah.
Yeah, I, I mean, can introduce you to some of my friends. Like, I'm open to that. Hey. Well, Kathy, what would you say to going out on another date with Jason? We will pay for it. Would you go on a second date with Jason? <laughs> yes. I, I would say if he wants a wingman to help him find women and you guys want to pay for that, I would love to help him okay. in that situation. So, Kathy, is that a no or will you go out with Jason and help him find chicks? <laughs> I mean, I do have some friends that I could probably set him up with. You're saying you you might have some straight friends who 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 would be interested in me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Until they actually go out on a date, Jason. For now. I mean, honestly, at this point, I'll just take any date with anyone who wants to go out with me. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jason! <laughs> well, go. congratulations, Jason. <laughs> really? Do you get that yeah, what dude. it deserves? Congratulations. You might have got a second date. <laughs> I just I hope I don't bring anyone else any big realization on my next date. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke and Jubal in the morning.